Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's Macworld Expo special, I talk to one of the creators of the very popular One Password program. Hello, Gary. My name is uh, Rustam Karimov. I'm one of the One Password developers. Dave and I we started uh, one, developing One Password about three years ago, and this is our second Macworld Expo. It's been a great show so far, and a lot of interest. People always interested. People seems to always react to. Uh, so have you never forgotten your password message? Just because uh, today people have a lot of passwords online, and they have to keep track of all of them. People tend to reuse the password just because they are afraid of getting a password for a website and not being able to log in. One password helps uh, to solve this issue by keeping track of all the passwords that you have. And now that you don't have to remember a password for each website, you can generate a strong password and uh, for, for every website and one password will keep track of them. The idea is that all the passwords are encrypted and stored securely in one password database and you need just one single master password to unlock all your information and uh, be able to use it. Probably the main power of one password comes from the direct browser integration. So if you are on a website, let's say you are on a bank website or your Gmail website, anywhere else, and you want to log in, instead of trying to uh, figure out the password or find it somewhere, you just click a button in the browser and everything is filled for you automatically. So with one password, you've got the application where you can go ahead and store different passwords and it automatically fills those in as you go to websites. So in other words, the first time you log into say Yahoo, it will ask you do you want to save this inside of one password. And then you enter OK and then it's saved. Now next time you go to Yahoo, you go ahead and you decide you want to sign in. So you click in the sign in button and then when you get to the sign in page, you just use the one password button, restore Yahoo login, and it immediately fills in the ID and password and you're logged into Yahoo. One password integrates with almost all browsers uh, on Mac. Mm -hmm. So we provide extensions for Safari, Firefox, OmniWeb, Dev and Agent, uh, WebKit, Block, Camino. If you enter your password and if you save a password while you're in Safari and you decide to switch to Firefox, uh, you don't have to worry about it. You just you have the same information in all browsers. You get uh, several emails per uh, per month probably from people who got uh, attacked by phishing phishing scams. So basically, people get an email. Uh, let's say they are tired. At the end of the day, they get an email. Looks very very similar to uh, PayPal or Bank of America or any other email. Say hey. You know, and they usually put people under pressure and say you have to click right now or your information will be blocked out or something like that. And people tend to click and see this familiar website and then try to uh, uh, log into this website. And obviously that's when the, that's when your information gets stolen. And we got a number of one password users that emailed us and say thank you very much for saving my saving my uh, my identity just because one password will not let them use their uh, password on the phishing, phishing website. So I've been using 1Password for a while now and one of the great things it lets you do is create a completely secure random password for every website that you go to. Make a completely different one. So first of all there's no way for anybody to guess your password and even if they did it's different for every different website. So if there's a security breach at one website it won't mean that somebody has your password to other websites as well. You can check out the product and get more information at AgileWebSolutions.com. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.